Are you thinking about getting your real estate license in Mississippi? Well, if so, you landed on the right video because I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step how to get your real estate license. My name is Tyler Royke. I help people build better careers in real estate and what better way to get started in real estate than to go out there and get your real estate license so that you can help people buy, sell, and invest in real estate working as a real estate agent. And before you start on the first step of this process, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you meet or that you will meet these requirements in order to actually receive your real estate license. So the state of Mississippi requires that you be at least 18 years of age or older at the point they're issuing you your license and that you will be a resident of Mississippi when completing your application. So make sure you meet those requirements. Last thing you wanna do is to go through this process and, and to not be aware of that. So as long as you're aware and you know you meet those requirements or you will at the point you're applying for your license, then you'll be all good and you can proceed with step one. And step one is to enroll in a real estate school online. So you're going to want to complete an approved 60 hour of real estate pre-licensing coursework. And you're just going to want to make sure that whatever course provider you go with meets the state's requirements so that those hours count towards your licensing requirement. And if you're looking for a place to get started with those required course hours, I've got a link. I'll put it in a pinned comment below and that's going to be a course provider that does meet those requirements where you can get started if you need a place to start and as a thank you for watching the video I'm gonna make sure that you get a nice discount on that so for info check out the pinned comment below and once you meet those 60 hours you can move on to step two which is to select a brokerage so you're gonna need to obtain sponsorship from a Mississippi real estate broker and once you do that you can move on to step three. But quick note on finding a broker. I'm not going to go into details exactly how to find the best possible fit for yourself in this video. But I made another video on the channel where I dive into exactly how to go out and find a real estate brokerage uh, that will be in alignment with your goals and what you want to achieve in this industry. And I'll even provide you with questions that you can go out and ask these different brokerages you're interviewing as you're doing that so that you can find the best possible fit for yourself. So feel free to check out that video. And with that in mind, we can move to step three, which is to apply for your Mississippi real estate license. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you meet all the requirements on the application and that you send in your application fee, which is $120. And once you've done that, you can move on to step four, which is to take your real estate licensing exam. So you're going to want to successfully pass that exam. Hopefully you do that your first time around, uh, you know, with some good studying habits in between the time that you send your application and take the exam, you know, spend some time reviewing chapter summaries and your notes and whatnot. But uh, you'll pass if you achieve a score of 70% or higher on the general portion of the exam and a score of 75 percent or higher on the state portion of the exam so there's two portions uh, that the exam's broken down into there's 120 questions total but you'll want to make sure you meet those thresholds on both those sections because you know one's effectively a state portion one's effectively a national portion so one has a higher passing threshold than the other but as long as you clear that threshold you'll be good to go and there is an exam fee of 75 dollars that you'll need to pay to take those exams. Which by the way, it's all in one sitting. It's not two different exams. You're, you're gonna take that all at once. So step five is to complete an approved 30 hour post licensing course. So you weren't done with the pre-licensing. You've got more coursework that you'll wanna take post licensing. So as a new salesperson, this is a requirement uh, and that must be completed. The, the 30 hours post licensing must be completed by the end of the first year following your initial licensure date. So again, if you need a place that meets those requirements to take that, check out the pinned comment below. I'll include that there as well so that you have a place you can go ahead and knock that out once you've passed your real estate licensing exam. And now by that point, once you have your active real estate license in hand, if you're affiliated with a broker, 
you can effectively go out and start helping clients, uh, which is really exciting. But there is one more step to, that you're gonna need to take and it's called CE, continuing education. So in order to renew your license and keep it beyond the, the first renewal period, you're gonna, you're gonna wanna make sure that you consistently meet the continuing education requirements, which for Mississippi, it's gonna be 16 hours consisting of eight mandatory hours and eight elective hours, total 16 hours of CE every two years in order to renew your license. So make sure you meet that requirement because the last thing you wanna have happen is have your license lapse because you forgot to do your CE. So knock it out and you'll be good to go. And now that you know exactly how to get your real estate license in Mississippi, there's only one question that remains. Are you going to get after it? If so, hit the subscribe button so that I may continue to share tips to help you out on the journey ahead. And if you haven't done so already, check out the pinned comment below because I've included some links and resources to help you through the different steps in this process so that you can ultimately get your real estate license and get started. And if you got value out of the video, you already know what to do. Hit the subscribe button and I'll look forward to seeing you on the next video.